Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web Dine Pro ABAP and in the previous videos, we are covering the properties of layout elements. So as a part of that, we took the requirement, we simply developed that particular thing. We have written the logic into the WDDO init method and we have written the logic on the on action display method. Now what we will do, we will understand each and everything in that debugging mode so that if some confusion is there, it will be automatically clear. So major, I will put the breakpoint at two places. Firstly, I will put the breakpoint in WDTO init method because this method will call before displaying the particular view. So firstly, we will debug this. And then I will put the breakpoint on W uh, on action submit button also. And you all know in WebDen Pro a bad yes, we can only only go for external breakpoint. So I put a breakpoint in WDDO init method. And second breakpoint I will put into on action display method because we have written the logic to set the visible property for that transparent container in on action display and WDTO init method, whatever the attribute is binded to the transparent container. Now I will run this WebDen Pro application. I will just go for test. Now I will log in first. Now, firstly, our view will not appear. Firstly, which method will trigger? WDDO init method will trigger because this method calls before displaying a particular view. And you can see system entered into that debugging mode. And this is our WDDO init. Now you can see the object of element is initial. Now the object of element is created. If the object of element is created, can I use the instance method set underscore attribute? Yes. Now, whenever this method will trigger, we are setting this attribute as false. We are passing the value as space. And you all know this particular attribute. If I will go to lay out this transparent container, this attribute is binded to the visible property. If I will go here, this attribute is binded to the visible property. If this attribute is false, it means this transparent container will not be visible. Now I will go to execute. Now if I will show you, you can see we have this transparent container is not visible. Now I will give the input and I will click on to the submit button. Now on the submit button, on action display will trigger. System will again enter into the debugging mode because I put a breakpoint there also. Now this is our on action display. So the many of the method is on action display. Now firstly, you can see this is all about the logic for header and item data. Firstly, the node of sales is not kitted. Now the node of sales is kitted. The node, the element sales is initial. Now the element is also created. Now, if the element is created, can I call this instance method? Yes, I call this instance method. Now you can see we are getting the value of sales document number as one. Now system will enter into this assistance class method. And you all know whenever this assistance class method will trigger whatever the logic is written in the instance class method, we will get the value of date, time, username, document category, and whatever the item data is from VBAP table. So now I will simply, simply execute this method because well, I already explained this part in the debugging mode, how I entered into this method and how we are getting that data. As of now, our target is to understand 
this part in that debugging mode how the container is getting visible or invisible or invisible so this part i will simply simply do f6 i am not going inside this particular method now you can see we have the values of date time username and sales document category and we have the item data also now we are binding all these data with the layout elements firstly attributes and attributes are binded to the layout elements this is our date time this is our username and this is our sales document category so these are the data for this date time username and document category from vbak table now this is for our VBAP table because you all know VBAP is item data. So it is in the form of table. So we are setting the data for VBAP also. Done. Now this part, actually our target is to understand this part. Now whenever user will click on to that submit button, now that container should be visible. Yes. Now we have the header data, we have the item data, we bind it with the various attributes. Attributes are bind on the layout element. So now everything is there, but that container should be visible. So now for that container to make visible, firstly, yes, you can see the element of this particular. Yes, the element is initial. Now the object of element is created. Now, if the object of element is created, now we are setting this attribute to true. And you all know this attribute is binded to the visible property of the transparent container. It means whatever is in the transparent container, it will be visible to us. Now, if I will execute. Now you can see we are able to see each and everything. This is our header data. This is our item data. So this is how we can make the columns or you can, how we can make the layout elements visible or invisible depends upon the requirement. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood each and everything in the debugging mode. I put the breakpoint at two places. What are those two places? WDDO init method. And the second place is our on action display method. Whenever you will run the application, your view will not appear. Whatever the view is coming, that will not appear. Before that, WDDO init method will trigger for that particular view. It's simple. Whenever we are going for classical reports at that time, yes, initialization event is triggering first. Then our selection screen is coming. If we come on to module pool, our screen will not come before that process, before output event will trigger. Same thing is here. This particular logic triggered. And we are setting this particular attribute to false. Whenever we are setting this attribute to false, it is binded to visible property of the container. So that container will become invisible. It will not be visible to us. After that, I clicked on to the submit button. When I clicked on the submit button, this particular method is triggering. Anyways, I have not explained this part in the debugging mode how data is coming from VBA and VBAP because that is already covered part. Our target is, yes, how we are making that container again visible. So object of element is created. Now we are calling the method set attribute. We are setting this attribute to true. Whenever we are setting this attribute to true, it is binded to the visible property of the transparent container and that container will become visible and highly, widely, widely used in the projects. These kinds of scenario customer will say, I want this enable. I want this disable. I want this thing as visible. I want this thing as invisible. This is the best way. You can simply, simply put those things in the container. You can simply find the visible property. You can set the attribute to true or false and you will be able to achieve those requirements. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.